normally when you sit in a group discussion room she starts opposing you he starts shouting and those two people are arguing among themselves only and in this noisy room you are supposed to impress the examiner so that you clear the gd round beat for mba job recruitment or bank exams group discussion is an important round and also full of chaos but as little finger says chaos is a ladder and i'm going to tell you how to climb it think of it this way when we are with friends and family we are so good at talking because we have an opinion about everything group discussions are exactly the same but all we have to do is to know what kind of topics will be thrown at us and be prepared and today by the end of this video i'm going to get you prepared so in today's video we're going to learn what is group discussion what does the examiner want to know about you through the group discussion different parts of gd along with sample answers but most importantly towards the end i'll give you a bonus tip that'll help you clear the gd round hi i am taskeen and if you like the work i'm doing and want to motivate me to make more videos make sure you hit that like button let's begin A group discussion is where a set of candidates say 10 to 12 are given a topic and are asked to discuss among themselves for a set duration. Now the kind of topics given in a GD round can be broadly classified into four categories. Number 1, the general category, which can be related to facts, education policy of our country, current affairs, so on and so forth. For example, should yoga be made compulsory in schools? Is India ready to go 100% cashless? The purpose of these topics is to find out how aware you are of what is happening around you. The second category is controversial topics. For example, is beef ban logical? Women make better managers. Freshers are better than laterals. As you can see, these topics are argumentative in nature, and that's exactly the purpose to provoke you because the examiner wants to know how mature you are in keeping your temper in check. The third category is abstract topics. that don't really point to a particular subject n justifies the means the farther we look the closer we are these topics are meant to test your lateral thinking and creativity and the final category is case study based for example a company fired an employee and as a result other employees went on a strike the question is why do you think the company fired the employee and what can they do to stop the strike These use cases are usually a short description of a problem and the team together is required to come up with a solution. Now let's see what skills does the examiner want to see in you and how to show them that you possess those skills. Number 1, they want to know how good are your communication skills. So avoid using informal phrases like I don't know, kya yaar, chalta hai. On the other hand you don't have to use complicated words like shashi tarur or be a grammar nazi it's okay to make a few grammatical mistakes here and there just make sure that you're confident while talking number 2 they want to know how flexible you are in accepting other people's views this is important because eventually you will work in a team where not everybody will agree with you your coworkers will come from different backgrounds lifestyles opinions beliefs religions So it's important that you're open to new ideas even if they don't align with the way you think. They want to know your subject knowledge. That is how much you read and how much you pay attention to what is happening around you. But most importantly, they want to know how are your listening skills. So relax, listen carefully and maintain eye contact with whoever is speaking. Remember the group discussion is not about you. It's about the team. The group discussion can be broadly classified into three parts. Number 1, the start. Now a lot of people will tell you that you should be the first person to start a group discussion. The advantage of starting first is that you grab everybody's attention and can make a great first impression. But if you talk nonsense while everybody is looking at you, then it's going to go But if you start second, you will get extra time to think about what you're going to say next 
and best yet suppose you don't understand the topic then thanks to the first person who started speaking you will kind of start understanding what the topic is about but be it first or second you need to have something meaningful to say you can start with a quote a fact or best yet start with a short incident from your personal life that you can relate to the topic for example suppose the topic is was demonetization a successful move in india then you can start by saying i still remember watching narendra modi's speech on tv when he had announced that the then 500000 rupee notes will no longer be valid i had immediately call my parents asking them to keep their notes ready so that we can immediately return it to the bank at first our entire family thought that it is a great move to flush out the black money in our country but it is very hard to ignore the hardships that most of the indians had to go through because of lack of proper planning so in this answer you start with your personal experience related to the topic and then immediately move on to the next point where you express your opinion remember it is important to not stretch your personal experience to the point where everybody gets bored after the start comes the body now throughout the gd you need to remember these three points number 1 in gd i have seen people hitting the table and screaming at others if they don't agree with them maybe that's how you get selected in rodies but in real life you'll be kicked out of the next round so if somebody does not agree with you you don't have to be aggressive about it aggressive people make bad employees and worse managers instead be assertive and put your point across rationally suppose you get a controversial topic like uh, women make better managers than men and if a guy does not agree then don't be like uh, my mother makes a better manager than you instead you can say something like raj i agree with you that a major percentage of managers are men but i'd like to point out that in my house my mother is a better manager than my father most women have to drop out because of family commitments so on and so forth number 2 it's best to keep a notepad or a paper with you throughout the gd so that you can note down the ideas that keep coming to you and the name of the other participants because if the argument gets heated then taking a person's name is the best way to attract their attention so that you can put forward your point without having to shout and number 3 you don't have to dominate the gd by speaking on and on there's no rule as such but in a 15 minute gd with uh, 10 participants if you speak for around 2 minutes spread across 4 to 5 occasions then it should be good enough and finally the examiner will ask you to summarize and the best way to summarize is to acknowledge others opinion state your opinion and find the middle ground to both in as less words as possible for example if the topic was will india emerge as a superpower in the near future and you were for the topic then you can conclude by saying while i agree with my fellow participants who said that currently india ranks high in uh, income inequality corruption and lack of infrastructure i am still hopeful because we are one of the fastest growing economy in the world and it does exert influence in the global scale so i know that if we all work together to resolve the issues in our country india will surely be on its way to become a global leader now india will become a superpower for sure but if you want to be a superpower then make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon because i make career and finance videos only for you finally it's time for the bonus tip if you want to clear the gd round then you need to do these two things number 1 consume data that makes you smart it's okay to watch comedy skits and vlogs on youtube once in a while but focus more on consuming data that makes you smart like watching infotainment videos reading the newspaper at least read comic books because they will improve your english language skills if you want to know how i learned english then check out this video i've left the link in the description and number 2 pick two to three of your friends or family members and create an informal gd group and meet regularly to discuss a particular topic this is the best way to practice before you appear for your actual gd so go and form your gd group but before you leave here's your first gd assignment comment below and let me know in two to three sentences how will you start discussion on this topic how do you think india should deal with terrorist attacks Don't worry about grammar don't worry about punctuation just write because that is how we will learn I'll be waiting to read your comments on that note I promise to see you again very soon until then keep fighting the urban fight to be fit